Hey, hey, crafty peeps. It is cold. It is snowing. It is lovely. And everybody is staying huddled in the house except for the crazy kids who are have been outside multiple times playing in the snow. Um, and that would include my husband, just for the record, who was out there building a fort. It was quite cute. Um, but no, it's it's been really nice and I've been up here playing. Um, haven't gotten as much done as I would like, but there's still time in the day, so we shall see. I wanted to see if anybody else was sad about Tuesday morning this week. I had been to probably about three different Tuesday mornings and they were they all didn't receive shipments this week and I was like really sad. So I would go to one farther away and think, oh, maybe this will be better. Um, but I got to admit, you can see that I did find some things that I did not find at my local stores. So that was kind of neat to see them. But mostly it was paper. And I honestly don't need paper. Um, but I have an addiction to paper. So <laughs> let's get started. I'm super excited to see if there's anything really cool this week after the inventory. But I would like to share what I found this one because some of these are cool. So here's a SKU number. This is an Amy Tangerine, eight pieces. This is just gold flare. It has all these sentiments. Let's see. And yeah, I know there's a gold gonna be flare because artificial light. It's snowing. So these this is not true metal. This is like faux metal. But it's still really cool. It's very thin and it's on a pop dot there. I like that well done good times so these are really these were a cool find for 150 and then I also found these here's the number there of course I'll leave the phone number in the description box if you are interested to see if it is at your or anywhere near you they will give you a radius and you can I think they picked that I don't remember it's been a while I gotta admit when I called and looked for something that was on somebody's video and they didn't have it I was kind of sad <laughs> So this right here, here's a little image of something you can do with it. But you know, sometimes they do. They do have the things that we want and they're local to us and they're just not at the closest store. So it's kind of neat to be able to call. So you can just put your corner, your picture or your paper in there. And it's so cool because it's ribbon. Why didn't I think of that? Right? Like I have ribbon, I could do that. So that was by Dear Lizzie. So of course, maybe I'll have to try that on my own. This one is Adhesive Cork, and it's by Studio Calico. And there are three pieces, and they just pop out. Oh, so it's on this sticky already, this, um, what do you call this? I know, acrylic, right? <laughs> and it's already got the sticky on there. So we won't pull those apart, but you can see that this is a piece, this is a piece, and then this is a piece. And that's pretty neat. So, I grabbed it. I'm surprised I hadn't seen this one before, but this is a Heidi Swap mask. And it was $1.99. There's a SKU number. And you can see the dates on these. These aren't new products. They were just hiding, and I must not have seen them. Or maybe because when they did the inventory, they found them in the back. I don't know. So that was neat, grab that. And then um, of course we got some lovely, lovely paper. So these are big packs of the same sheet, which most of you know, this one's Pull Aside by Crate Paper. And this is a cut apart. And I just couldn't leave it behind. I did not buy these all at the same time, I must admit. Some of the best memories are made in flip flops, it's so true. So. These cut aparts, I figured, you know, were easy to use multiple times. And then I just loved this, this ombre effect with these big squares. I was like, yes, please. And it was $2.99. And you know what? Here's a SKU number. The SKU number, unfortunately, is the same for all the packs. But I did see some of those paper pads that you guys were talking about, and they were $3.99. What's the deal with that? Are they going to raise the prices on just some of them? I don't know. This one's Maggie Holmes Shine. It's got all these delicious pieces right here that can be used multiple times for tags and cards. Nice. 
Hello. And then I really just really enjoyed this with the black and white and the text and the splatter. Yeah, I had purchased this a um, couple of these papers. I think it's at AC Moore. Um, so I was happy to get. Will I use all 25? Maybe not. But I can use quite a bit. And I saw this and thought totally of Mother's Day. Pink Paisley. And then here's this side. And if you get real, real close, you see that's the small design on the paper. It's really cute. And there was this one, Better Together. And I really, I don't know if it's just me, I feel like they're getting newer products sooner than it used to be back in the back in the day, two years ago when I first got back to the States. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's funny. But you know what I mean? Like two years ago, I don't think they were getting like the newest stuff. And again, this does the whole lighter to darker, but it's more of um, like a, I want to say a whitewash, but it's not really whitewash, watercolor maybe. I don't know. This one, I specifically thought this would be a great background, but also I did think that this would be really cool to make into envelopes, where this is the outside and this is the inside, or boxes, you know, little gift boxes, stuff like that. I try and get um, papers that I think will be good for that, you know, when I buy big bundles like this. Because otherwise, what are you gonna do with 25 pieces of paper? <laughs> this one, I don't know, I, the feathers. They just called my name. And this is by Journey, Great Paper is the um, company, and then the line was Journey. And that's a number, uh, I'm sorry, not the number. It is the number, but it's also Free Spirit is this actual sheet. Isn't that cool? And this was the back, which I also liked, which is another thing I look for when I'm buying a big pack of 25. I wanna like both sides, so. All right, and then this one, I did almost put it back. I had another Valentine one in my hand, and it was $3.99, and I was like, um, I don't know, I just can't support this yet. It's gotta grow on me, and this is um, Honey, I'm Home by We Are Memory Keepers, and this is Love and Laughter. But I thought this one might be really good for like a Valentine, like a male Valentine. I mean, that'll be good for a girl one too. And then of course this is just cute. That was really cool. So even though they did have a shipment, I managed to find something that I couldn't leave at the store. Here's the SKU number right here, $6.99. And this is one of those huge Project Life um, 12 by 12 albums. And there's the name right there, Fifth and Frolic. You can see it's that same paper. It looks like, um, well, maybe you can't because of all the lights. How close can we get? You can see my phone case. All right, so it's got like the polka dots right there. Maybe that's a better angle. So it's pink and then the lighter polka dots and then it's got the floral on the side here. And I really enjoy these tags here with the, the Project Life. I'm really filling up my um, bookcase with those. They also had some more of these. It seemed like they got another shipment in. So here's the big 12 by 12. Oh, there's, there's what I told you. So I grabbed some more. And these ones are the smaller ones. Skew number. And both of these will fit in the 12 by 12 album. So you can vary up your pages. You can cut this down with a heat tool if you want. Whatever you like. And then I got just a few more things here that I found. This one right here, the skew number. This is a bit older. Studio Calico 12 journal cards. It's got some Christmas in there. Just a peek. So these have like a coating over them and they're single sided. So these are not quite as um, maybe easy to write on. I have to use a slip marker, I'm thinking. But I love like these ones. I thought they'd be fun to play with for 99 cents. Merry and Bright. So a few of them are Christmassy, but not all of them. Look at that one. Isn't that cool? So. 
And oh, I did find six by six. So here's a SKU number. It's part of that project line. And I have to admit that I probably got it for these mostly. I mean, that's really pretty, don't get me wrong, but that could be used for Valentine's Day. But like the paper clips, books, pencils, total Valentine's Day, right? Oh, look, that's pretty. It's gilded. This one, too. These are single sided. These golded, gilded ones are um, embossed. They have some texture on them. And then it just repeats itself. So for $2.99, I went ahead and swap that up. This is a, a duplicate. I had purchased this before and really enjoyed it and was happy to see it there again. It's got all these die cuts and there's vellum in there as well. Like, look at that one. They go together like milk and cookies or mac and cheese. So, and I did open that pack in a previous video. So if you're interested, you can check that out in my past videos. I found this pebbles right here. You know, I actually did pretty good now that I'm looking at all the stuff I have for no shipments. Just saying. Uh, another Project Life, $1.99. This one's all about tennis. Um, and I, I did have a tennis player. He has not played since we've gotten back to the States. but um, So I still have a bunch of those photos to scrapbook. There was 40 pieces in here. I wish he still played, but he does like basketball, so that's kind of cool. And then there was this die for $2.99. Normally 10, and you get one, two, three, four, five, and they're arrows. Like this one has a heart, but otherwise you can use these, you know, whenever you want, all throughout the year. And then the last thing I found was uh, some more stickers. There's been tons and tons of stickers, as you all know. These were 99 cents. But these were mason jars. And they're, you know, they're poofed up, so there's room. So, of course, I was like, well, can we fill them? So, here you can see this one I was playing around. But I can't seem to quite get the whole ceiling part. You know, I just thought of just right now, if I take my heat tool, I bet you that would be the best way to do that. Because I tried to use clear, clear effects by stamping up. And um, it didn't, I couldn't keep it, like, together because there's not enough space. Because you got to cut Part of the plastic I cut a little bit off to fill it up but I'm gonna try that heat tool because I bet you that will do the trick so that was kind of fun playing with that I did grab a couple more of those so probably about three packs because I thought this would be a great fun project to play with and um, you know because I, I couldn't resist I just had to grab them so but that was it I mean I still managed to find a good amount of course I did go to three different Tuesday mornings because I was like what happened to shipments and they're like inventory and I was like okay I get it so um uh, let me know if you guys had inventory at your stores or if you got a normal shipment I have been looking for videos and haven't seen much so maybe it's just they're doing it you know across the world first of the year it could be it but I have not been disappointed by Michael's at all so there's no worries there all right, you guys, I hope you are having a great day, weekend, wherever you are, and staying warm. I hear it's even raining all the way over there in California, so good luck wherever you are. Talk to you later.